Need some coins for rookie premieres? Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today we have the full Madden 19 database finally available. So if you guys want to go through and search up any players at all, you can actually go through and just click on the player and check out their stats. So it looks like the highest overall card in the game is actually Ronnie Lott. We can finally see the full stats on him. I'm going to be showing you guys a ton of the high overall cards in the game right now. Uh, but you guys can see we have 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 zone with 81 block shed, and a 94 hit power on him. Now he is clutch. Uh, he has high motor as well. Uh, big hitter is yes, strip ball is no, but he does play the ball in the air aggressive and he also has demons in line bull rush move and overall just a very very solid card with 79 catching now we do have uh, a mutt master but we actually cannot see who it is so they were kind of smart with that if you search by master unfortunately nothing does pop up but we do have all of the different programs in the game uh veterans gauntlet team diamond team captain power up master long shot legends heavyweights flashback uh, silver rookie gold elite bronze and also campaign now, if we search by campaign, I'm pretty sure nothing pops up as well, unfortunately. So we have the full database unlocked, so we can actually go ahead and search. But unfortunately, we can't find certain programs just yet. Uh, if we take a look at the long shot, I don't know if anything's going to pop up for long shot either. And yes, yeah, so unfortunately, long shot as well will not actually pop up. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of the full legends in the game so we have a ton of different legends uh, of course i believe the lowest overall ones would be 90 overall so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine i think we have ten uh yes yeah, so we have ten legends at the beginning of the game day one so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of their stats now I do want to start off by saying uh, just a huge shout out to everyone who's watching this video and everyone that has been supporting me recently. The support has been insane. I know I've been saying it in like every video, but honestly, guys, it's just been in insane. It, like how much you guys have really just been inspiring me to make videos like this is the funnest time to make videos because my, right now my channel is doing absolutely amazing and i just want to say thank you guys to everyone who subscribed if you're not already subscribed please do hit that sub button and turn the notification bell on uh i'm gonna be putting out a ton of content for you guys come madden 19 and also just in general right now but with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this. And we have Champ Bailey, who has 88 speed, 89 acceleration, with a 91 man and a 91 zone, with 91 play rec, 81 catching, 51 block shed, and a 61 hit power. Now, right now, uh, all, most of the cards that I see with block shedding are like 30 and 40. So 51 block shed and Champ Bailey is actually not too bad. A uh, 61 hit power, good speed, 88. 91 man and zone 91 player 81 catching very very solid traits he's clutch has a high motor and he plays ball in the air aggressive so overall champ bailey pretty dang good of course next up we have randy moss which everyone's saying this is the best receiver in the game and rightfully so six foot four 90 speed 89 excel 91 jumping also has a 41 run block obviously not the best uh 91 catch 88 catching traffic 92 spec catch 87 short route running 89 medium and a 91 deep with an 89 release now he also is clutch he covers the ball always he doesn't fight for extra yards unfortunately but he does make aggressive catches rack catches and possession catches does not drop open passes makes the sideline catch but he doesn't have a high motor so randy moss definitely if not the best receiver in the game top two next up is Derek brooks 82 speed with 85 acceleration 78 block shed 82 hit power 90 pursuit 90 tackling and a 90 play wreck with 79 finesse move and an 84 zone now of course Derek brooks is always one of the best coverage linebackers in the game so for him to only have 84 zone coverage kind of sets the standard on where zone should be for an elite tier 4-3 outside linebacker uh, he also is clutch has a high motor and he's a big hitter but he doesn't strip the ball unfortunately but still a very very nice uh, card 82 speed is definitely enough speed to get out there he's a 99 overall 4-3 outside linebacker and 99 in coverage so it looks like 84 zone is actually really really good and of course, a user beast is going to be Ted Hendricks. He can also pass rush though. A 78 speed, 6'7", 83 excel with a 90 play rec, 88 block shed, 89 tackling with 87 hit power, and an 88 power move 
with a 90 awareness. Now, he also isn't clutch, unfortunately, uh, but he does have a high motor. He has the swim move, bull rush, big hitter, and strip ball. So, in terms of pass rushing, he is going to be great coming off the edge. And if he's not too, too expensive, uh, I can definitely look into picking up this card. Next up is Steve Hutchins, who has a 99 run lock, and Steve Hutchins is an absolute beast. Uh, 59 speed, 72 excel, 89 strength, 91 awareness, has 90 run blocking, 90 run block power, 87 run block finesse, 88 pass block, 89 pass block power, 86 pass block finesse, 89 lead block, and a 90 impact block. What a freaking beast. Not to mention the fact he does have a high motor and his penalty is disciplined. So 99 run blocking and 99 bulldozer rating. Probably the best left guard in the game day one. 90 overall, Lorenzo Neal, who has 77 speed, 82 excel, 79 trucking with a 90 awareness and a 67 catch. Now he has a 99 overall my head rating for lead blocking and a 90 for rushing, so he's definitely all around really good. A 81 run block, 83 run block power, 80 run block finesse, but a 90 lead block and a 90 impact block, so he can definitely uh, handle the ball, first off, he can run with the ball on the goal line, like a goal line back, 79 trucking isn't the absolute best, uh, 87 strength's pretty good though, he's more of a blocker, uh, clutch, no brace versus big hitters, he doesn't have any of the uh, catches or the fight for extra yards, but he does have a high motor, so a good blocking fullback. Next up is Willie Rofe, who has a 97 pass block rating with a 99 run block and a 99 bulldozer. The man has 60 speed, 72 acceleration with a 90 strength, 88 run block, 90 run block power, 85 run block finesse, 90 pass block with a 90 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, and 84 lead block with 87 impact. Definitely an absolute beast of an offensive lineman, and he also has a high motor, so definitely probably the best left tackle in the game day one. Next up is Bruce Smith, and a lot of the game changers, I've seen some gameplays with this guy, say that he is absolutely off the charts amazing in terms of pass rush uh, 73 speed 79 acceleration with 86 strength also has an 85 block shedding 83 pursuit 87 tackle and an 82 hit power what a card not to mention 90 power move and 89 finesse so we can hit the power move or he can do finesse move he's a 95 3 4 and 4 3 uh, defensive end 95 pass rush 93 run stuff and a 96 when it comes to physical he also has high motor he has swim move spin move and the bull rush and he's a big hitter so my god this card is going to be insane like literally probably the best pass rusher in the game if not one of the best and then we also have sean taylor which of course i'm sure you guys are very very excited about Gotta have Sean Taylor on the squad. Uh, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 zone, 89 jump, 87 play rec. Let's see that hit power though. 90 hit power with an 85 block shed and a 73 catching. Now he also has an 81 tackle and a 90 pursuit. And his traits, he's clutch, he has a high motor, he's a big hitter, and he strips the ball, and he plays the ball in the air aggressive. Dang, Sean Taylor is an absolute stud. 87 speed, 90 excel is extremely fast. Uh, kind of sucks that there's really like no defender in the game though that can stop Tyreek Hill with his 91 speed. I mean, if he gets past this, the cornerback and then you have 87 speed Sean Taylor, you better just hope that he's backed up because 87 speed versus 91 still not the best odds you're going to be able to catch him. And finally, we have Steve Young. 81 speed with 84 excel. That's extremely fast for a QB. Uh, 85 throw power, 88 short, 87 medium, 87 deep, 88 throw on the run, 90 play action, 87 throw under pressure, and an 80 break sack. Dang, this card is going to be good. Uh, also, he has a 60 trucking, a 73 looseness, 80 juke move, and a 74 spin. QB styles balance, throws tight spiral, yes. Uh, clutch, yes. My lord, this card is going to be good. But guys, that is all of the legends that we have. Also, the full database is unlocked. So if you guys want to go ahead and search up legends, whatever, go ahead and do that. I'm going to be having uh, probably two more videos coming out for you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, they drop a team builder soon because I have a ton of ideas for the team builder if they do actually decide to drop that before the game does release. We have just over a week until Madden 19 is in our hands if you guys have EA access. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are not already subscribed, please do hit that sub button and turn the notification bell on so you guys get notified whenever I do upload some more videos like this or just in general some Madden 19 content. You guys will not want to miss out. Going to be having a ton of tips dropping in the first week, pack openings, content. Expect it all year long. So if you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, 
smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I will see you guys next time.